Hi guys, how's it going? It is your boy Brad SK22 and welcome back to some more Gaming Madness and we are back with the one, the only, the epic game of Hogwarts Legacy. In the last episode, if you haven't checked it out, I ensure you do because it was a madness. Spiders, guards and the map chambers. If you don't know what that is, go check it out. You can find it on my channel through playlist of Hogwarts like I say go on my videos you can wait they will be a link to the end of this video and it's also in the description below so please go check out the last one if you enjoyed smash the like button subscribe and press the notification bell so you're not missing any future videos and this one I feel is going to be a banger as well we are going to start this off with the one the only the flying class we're going to get a broom whether we'll be good at this or not, I do not know, but let's find out. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Up. Up. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. Uh. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom. Say up, and clearly. <laughs> then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Oh. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. <laughs> the brooms are this school is brilliant. property. I want them returned ah. in one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, this is good. I'm flying. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? If I have to race, I'm going to lose. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! <laughs> this is rather fun! So we could... The old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. So if we can travel around Broome now. This is sick. Look at... And the view from all this is amazing. So is that oh, the teacher or a student? A romantic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oh, oh. Oh, this is, oh my God, this is so much fun. This game is amazing. If you guys haven't played this yet, I would really recommend this game. I know it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it is a really, really good game. I say, I 
I've watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Oh, he's gonna raise me. But I'm me, getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? I can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Where are you going? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Oh, look at this, man. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Look at this, man. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Quidditch. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. And hand in our brooms. Oh wow, that was so much fun. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. So do, do we get our own broom? Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Oh yeah, there really was. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favourite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Wow. Oh, <laughs> flying class. We can now purchase a broom. So if we go on here and go quest here. So for complete four assignments, that's fine. Claim reward. Claim reward. Uh, sides. And this is main story. So that's that. Have we, can we unlock any more of these? Yes. Oh. Highlands. Oh, in Hogsmeade. So there's more pages in Hogsmeade. And there's more more in Hogsmeade. Exploration. So 
the Merlin's Trials I've done two. Even expansion increased storage for gear. Oh, oh, I like that. So let's quickly run through all these. That was a beast. It really was. Exploration. So I'm guessing there will be like add-ons to this game as well. Can I not click all of them? No. I think I did then, yeah. I found a lot which is really good and this is why I'm keeping my eye out but there's tons there's tons of them so gear best we can do 600 health glasses headwear Take this to the room to reveal its quantity. See, I don't want... I look stupid. I'm happy with... with... I look stupid wearing the hat, but it gets more defence up. We need offence as well. Keep that on for, for now. Offense has gone up, that's that's good. So defense and offense is the best that we can be at the minute. That needs room of requirements. I don't want to destroy it just in case. And then this defense goes up again. We do look like a fan of Doctor Who and we're dress dressing ourselves up. So broom upgrades. Proceed through the main story to unlock. Okay. We have... How many have we got? We've got one from that. So we need. I want to try to gather as much as them up as possible. Quests. Ghost of our love. This mask portray, portrays a forest, bridge and candle. I put it in to my bag for reference. Acquires yes, let's do this the assignment. We will learn another spell. New in infant <gasps> Yes. So fix there, put that there. And then all new ones can go in them. I like it. I'm so happy. I've not oh. forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? Feel keen for some illicit spell practice. Meet me outside the defense against the dark arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I wish I could afford my own broom. Instead of using my brother's hand-me-downs. I do like Madame Kagawa. <laughs> can I speak to the teacher? I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies. Madame Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Gryffindor should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now... Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Thank you. So, let's go to the map. So, I want to learn the new spell. So, oh, the ball spells. Oh, the room of requirements. I'll learn... 
spell. Oh, we'll do this one first, because that's got more. So, what's near? That one. We'll do this one first, and then we'll do the Weasley one. This game just surprises me more and more as we go along. Like the graphics, the music, the sound to it. Everything that it has to offer. It just surprises me more and more. Like with the forest and everything like that. Wait. Okay, we're waiting here. Oh, we're meeting Sebastian. Okay. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. In the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. What, am I going to tell him this now? Way. Is it best me telling him just in case he does? There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Oh. Undercroft. That is sick. <laughs> and then he does it. Right, okay. Oh, how did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Oh, wow. He named it the Undercroft. We use Rebellion. the dog stones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you. I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay. So he's trustworthy. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that, that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, oh. one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Yeah. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning Heck. this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Yeah, that's, yeah let's do that. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. And it's another red one. Ah, I've got it straight away. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? 
Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Good for you. Nice work. How does it feel? It's a tad That's hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Good for you. Well done. I like it. I like it. I have to say. I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. We opens the map. When and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss Can out we in the tell him? earlier? Uh, I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Ah, uh, He seems alright, so do we tell him? Or not? He's kept this place secret, so he seems trustworthy. And he's one of the best relationships. Friends, relationships that I've got. Tell you him. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. So we told him. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Revelion. I'm guessing we might be able to get through that at some point. Secret area and a brand new spell. Fancy ah uh, yes. So we can't tell anyone about this at all. Oh. Oh, is that Hello, that's him. Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions. Oh God. Together. And. Herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. 
Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Oh. Okay. Threatening me. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Oh, Sebastian God. is going to get an earful about this. Oh, God. Sorry, Sebastian. I didn't mean to get you into too much trouble. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Quick, let's just go to the next thing and I'm sure we will hear from Sebastian very, very soon. <laughs> I tried to keep it secret. I tried to keep it secret. I've got evidence. This is recorded. I've got evidence. <laughs> the loop de loop. Meet with Professor Weasley. The. Oh. Oh, yes, we'll be. Boy, can you help oh. me? We'll talk to this guy first and see what he has to say. Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the old troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff scheme. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me! You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm... Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Pass outside. That's... There's a stairs. Because you can knock that down so you go upstairs. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this first. Treasure. Anything for treasure. Because it looks like it's this that you can knock down. Then it goes... Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Down here. No, I think it's outside. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Stairwell looks promising. 
So he's helping me out because I want Shah. Down is where the this ancient like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Revelio. Secret room. Revelio. Oh. Accio. <laughs> there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Oh wow. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Oh, that was sick. I didn't even see the top half of that. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. There's a lot of side stuff you can do as the well. The Dalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? I'll come back, don't worry. So I need to come back and see what she wants. What she needs help with, shall I say. How many flight of stairs? Oh, is that? Oh. Find anything yet? Rebellion. Here we go. Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, so that's that one done. On to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Oh, it's sleeping. Uh, before we do the actual quest, I'm going to go back down and see what this girl needs my help with. So I said I'd go back down and see if she's all right. So I'll go back down side quests because with the sides and slash relationship thing, it helps me boost everything up. So I like doing the quest, but it may it see it's more fun doing side stuff as well as doing it on side with the mains. I the think Italian anyway. Keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Mong, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets oh. years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task. You may find a reward. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, oh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Listen I hope them. you follow a few keys at least. If you manage See to what this is out, about. I'd love to know what you find, if anything. 
The flying keys have got me interested. I don't know what to do with this one. Not that he mentioned who in the key in the summer, I'm sure I can't find it to look around and listen. This tapestry, this bix, the wizard Barnabas, the Barmsy, foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballot. One can only imagine the impact of arts had he successful. Oh, it moves. Oh. Rebellion. I thought there was a tower there, but is this it? I'm guessing that's where the quest was. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. As a Dalian king, I wonder where it might lead me. Guessing I have to listen out for this. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Oh. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Excellent. That was by luck. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. That was literally by luck that it snapped right in the right place. So at least I know I know. <laughs> so now I have to return to her. But she was outside. All the way back down. Good fast travel. Probably would make it a little bit easier. But. Might find some more quests. That we can do. As we're. Well as we're running. Don't think we will. But. Because I'm not looking at students. Sebastian. My old friend. I hope it went well. With. That guy. Don't remember his name. Sorry if I got you in trouble. Oh, God. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I'd better unlock our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. Okay. So it, uh, that opens the house chest. I'm guessing this is where it's taking me. We haven't been in our dorms for since the first episode, really. So, be interesting to go back and see what we can get. Wait, this is... No, I still haven't got level one yet. It's weird. Lumos. 
Levioso. Revelio. Still don't know what to do with that. There we go. The map descripts Agri here. A region in Scotland which contains the hybrid natural home of Black Dragon. Interesting. Okay. I don't care. Oh. Did this take the bunny center? Yes. I did that one. I just want Shaw, so it will work double checking. Do we remember the door? Remember what the door is? Rebellion. Here we are. The portrait guides the Gryffindor common room. Requires a password from anyone who wishes to enter. She and her friend Viola are known to wander among the other portraits, helping themselves to vats of wine. Just like in the film. Hey guys. This one seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Okay. I don't know where to. I thought that were another set of stairs. Then it's not. It's the actual de decor. So they should be round, I would have thought, somewhere round them. Eyes on me, musicians. We're about to begin. Round the actual door, where them door things are. I would have thought so anyway. So they should have been, they should be round there. Right? His statue duplicates the wizard Lachlan the Lanky. Oh, what a name that is. A tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself for what particularly no one knows. Okay. So we are gathering these. I still don't know what to do with that. Rebellion. Lumos. Repero. Fair enough. Revelio. Never been in here. Oh. It's a ladies' bathroom. <gasps> I got a portion. So shouldn't there be one near here? And it's if I'm hearing it. I, I don't even know where to even start. Rebellion. And it has to be somewhere near here, right? Let's 
I would have thought it would have had to be near here to the key to go to it. Rebellion. Sure it has to. Can bring up. Action. See how I'm going to get that. That new spell is under. Rebellion. Action. Okay. It was right in front of me that whole time. Oh, it hasn't gone to that end. Oh, so which one's it gone to? I... Rebellion. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's going to it now. It's going to it now. I ran off thinking it'd go straight there, but no, I'd follow it. Right. Oh god. Yes. Yes. Another. So I've got two. Sixteen? There's no way I'm running around here looking for sixteen. I might have to just find them on the way as I go around. Rebellion. I don't know how to do that. Hmm. This place is so big, I don't know how I'm going to remember. Rebellion. How am I going to remember this all? All of this. Five more of them to go, so we aren't doing bad. Seems pointless having that there, but okay. I'm literally just running around the castle now. Legit just running round. I don't even think there's anything round here. Rebellion. Jumper. Obviously that's down, so no point even having that. <gasps> Action. 
Okay, we found another one. Oh. I wait till it goes across and if it... I try to get it as close as near as possible. No. I don't know why I pressed that then. There we go. Rebellion. Is there, I'm guessing, a water portion? I'm guessing for these. Can bring up. Oh. That's how you do them. Rebellion. Right, I thought it was water you had to do something with that. I was sadly mistaken. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. The famous hall. The ceiling of the great hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. Rebellion. The enchantment, enchanted lantern serves as a spot for which the great headmistress and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, addresses the school. <coughs> yeah, because Dumbledore addressed through it. And there's that there again. Don't know what they are. Rebellion. Oh, hello. All the different houses. These large hourglass containers rubble diamond sapphire and emeralds are enchanted to keep count of the house points for gryffindor hufflepuff ravenclaw and slytherin represent them hmm. okay rebellion my god we're finding a lot of these The Hogwarts artifact shows her surrounded by four houses mascots. Designed and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts Castle alongside funder Rowan Ravenclaw, who is created with credited sorry, with creating its ever changing floor pattern. So that's here. So, Rebellion. the only question is now, is where's the, this is the infamous floor structure. The old lady. Hidden behind the statue of One-Eyed Witch is a secret passageway to Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeyduke's. It can be accessed using a particular charm. Rebellion. Oh. I just don't know where this key would be.
with the up or down. I don't know, you know. Rebellion. I know I'm using that a lot, but I am trying to look for the key as well. And I don't know where it would be. Ravenclaw. That's for that, right? Okay, okay, okay. Would the key be higher or lower? Revelio. There. It was higher. So yeah, I was right. So uh, if we do this, then we've got four. Rebellion. I just can't remember where that one was. I think it was further down than this one, eh? Yeah, because it was up on the next level. So we'll go down, then down, then down again. And then. Rebellion. Your spirit guides are trying to contact you. I can sense them. It was in here, right? I've lost my head. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I'm sure I didn't come this far down. Did I? No, I didn't. Rebellion. Oh, where did I? I've lost tracks now. I don't know where I came in and where I didn't. The path you walk is precarious. You should return to me often for guidance. Where was that now? That's going to annoy me now to I find Rebellion. it. No. No. There it is. I wondered where that freaking frame was. Oh, I thought it was suddenly going to move then. Nearly, nearly. Duncan owes his reputation. I was just a bit late on that. There we go, we got it. That's five. I was just walking around to go out to the front to end this episode. And we found another one. So we've got 5 out of 16. Next time when we come back for the next episode guys. We will start off with the quest. Going to see. 
Weasley. Professor Weasley. And seeing what she has to offer for us. We've got a new spell. We finally find out what them keys are for and the house tokens inside the slots. Then them keys unlocked our house chest and we will have to wait and see what's in there when it comes closer to the time. We'll keep an eye out for the keys as we go along with the story. Hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode. I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, smash the like button, subscribe and press the notification bell. It has been your boy, Brad SK 22 They say stay well. Thank you for watching. And peace.